what's your plan for getting to the post-production process, the editing, the importing footage, um, deciding on how to categorize things once you get into Final Cut Pro? What is it? Post-production, I, I am of the philosophy <laughs> that uh, if you can learn to do as many things in this whole process, so I had never shot with a 5D before season two, so I learned about the camera, and then I had to learn about the post, because we shot the first season on a VX2100 and 2000, so it was standard definition old school video, where you're you know plugging the camera in and zipping and capturing little chunks of video, which took forever. But with this process, where we're shooting three camera almost all the time, so then that has to get transcoded, then all that sound has to be synced using, I use Pluralize, I cut on Final Cut Draft 7, uh, kind of Cut Pro 7, wrong Final Cut, and um, I do all the cutting, I do all the sound, I do all the color, I, nobody else touches. I leave with the cards, and no one sees anything until it's on YouTube. Um, so it's, what I think that you save in time, like I don't know an editor, who would work for the money that we had, which was nothing to cut 82 pages with this much work. Um, some people like the idea of a director and the editor being separate. I think that the that because I cut it and I'm directing it and we don't have a DP 99% of the time, that when we shot a dinner scene for six and I can tell one operator get this, another operator, can you get that, I'm gonna get this, then I, in my head, am sitting in front of Final Cut Pro going, okay, so I have this, I have this, I have this, so I can go, da, 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 da. okay, go. As opposed to, I don't know what the editor's gonna want, let's cover the shit out of this thing. This is such a waste of time. So if I, I know what shot I need to get this, I know what, what I have to pick up because I know how to cut. So if I know how to edit, then it's one less job. I think it makes me a faster director. It makes me a better director. It makes me a better director of photography when I'm playing that game. And it makes it easier for me to explain to the, the people I'm working with who are shooting what what I need. And also I can just sit there in my head and go, okay, so I thought that, 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 that. Okay, good, go. Uh, with, with the fight scene that we had, I had a page and a half of inserts because I needed to kill people and have guns and crossbows and arrows and none of we had no live fire nothing with blanks we didn't do any of that so i i look through the script and i go okay i'm going to need that write that down i'm going to need that write that write that. and then you end up with a shot list and then it's going through and making sure do i have everything i need and that makes the post production do i have room tone you know, I monitor what the boom operator is doing, so I have headphones on while I'm operating a camera, and I can hear if the mic is off and need if I if something picked up. Uh, sometimes I'll grab some wild sound of a door creaking or something else that maybe I think I can use because I also mix all the sound, uh, and I do the color correction. So all of that makes a lot more work, and I would say if you're going to cut your own stuff. It just, it's gonna, I don't know how much time it's gonna take because I don't know how fast you are. But if you can learn how to operate a camera and you can learn how to edit and you can direct, you can be so much cheaper. You can be so much faster. And even if you know a little bit about it and you are working with another editor, you can at least say, look, you know, if we go from this shot to this insert to this, that's what I'm thinking. And if you never cut before or you don't know kind of what that brain, it's like you focus your brain on how that works. Once you have all that stuff in your head, it, the more you know, essentially, the more you know about the whole process, the better you're gonna be. And I think it's worth it, you know, to learn how to edit if you're a director. I think it's worth it to learn how to operate a camera if you're an editor. Because even if you are, a, I've never been a video village tent guy who's looking at a monitor going like I want to be right there with the actor with the camera I want to be right in the middle of it 
Um, I want to see, like, I know when the shot goes. I get made fun of because I always say, cut, very nice! And everybody's like, oh, Joe said very nice, because that's, that's my gut reaction. Like, I saw it go through. I'm like, very nice, that's it, we got it. Next, moving on. Or, let's do another take, but I want this. I, it's hard, it takes a lot of time, and again, it goes back to make a story you love because when it's one o'clock in the morning and you're sick to fucking death of looking at these shots and you can't figure out how am I going to get from this to this? I love this story. I'll figure it out. As opposed to, oh boy, they're going to buy Volvos because of this. That's a hard thing to keep motivated about, I think. But yeah, learn to cut no matter what. Learn to cut.